And I'd like to share the stories of three Central New Yorkers, one of whom died in 1918 fighting his way across the rolling hills of France, two others who paid the price over 80 years later on the battlefields in Iraq. Though generations apart, they share a common narrative, a narrative of service and sacrifice in response to the nation's call to defend freedom. Corporal Homer J. Wheaton, a native of Pompey, New York, was the first Syracusean killed in World War I. A graduate of what was then St. John's Military Academy in Manlius, Wheaton studied law at Syracuse University before eventually enlisting in the Army. On February 27, 1918, a grenade was tossed by the enemy in upon Wheaton's platoon. Homer Wheaton grabbed the grenade, pulled it to his side in order to protect his comrades. It exploded in his hand and killed him instantly. For his bravery, he was awarded the Distinguished Service Cross, our nation's second highest honor. 88 years later, First Lieutenant James Lyons from the Rochester suburb of Brighton became Syracuse University's first casualty of Operation Iraqi Freedom. Lyons graduated from SU with a bachelor's degree in biochemistry in 2003 and immediately joined the United States Army. He went to officer candidate school and became an officer and a tank platoon commander. On September 27, 2006, Lieutenant Lyons was killed by an enemy sniper while doing his duty in Baghdad, Iraq. Four months later, Private First Class Sean Falter of Homer, New York, became Cortland County's first casualty of Operation Iraqi Freedom. He was a graduate of Homer High School and enlisted in the Army in 2005. On January 20, 2007, he was taken prisoner and later killed in Karbala, Iraq. Today is a day for us to remember these brave men and all who have died in service to our nation's defense.